Dynamic dimensions provide an interface at the cursor position to specify the length and angle of the linear entity being created or grip edited. As such, dynamic dimensions help you to focus on the drawing area. Click the DYN field in the status bar to turn this feature on or off. Right-click the DYN field to open the settings dialog on the dynamic input settings. You can control which dimensions are shown. Dynamic dimensions are especially useful when drawing lines or polylines. Let's draw a line. After specifying the start point, two dynamic dimensions display. Total length and angle from the x-axis. The length field is active. Type a value in the length field, then hit the tab key to jump to the angle field. The length field turns red and is locked. Type a value in the angle field and hit the tab key. Both fields are locked now. Press enter to draw the line or type a new value. Hit the tab key to go back and forth between the entry fields. Press enter when the dimensions are correct. The same procedure applies to draw polylines. For arc segments, first specify the length of the cord, then the angle. When you select an entity and pause the cursor over one of its grips, dynamic dimensions display. You can use this feature to measure entities in your drawing. To modify the dimensions, drag a grip, then type new values in the entry fields. Hit the tab key to go to the next field or shift plus tab to go to the previous field. When grip editing a line, the following fields are available. Total length, angle from the x-axis, length increment, and relative angle. Press enter to accept the current values. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.